What's going on guys? We're back for another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today we've got just a couple random tips here in the Fairlight tab on how we can move around and copy and paste our, our dynamics, our EQ, our effects, just how we can do it a little bit easier here just to kind of speed up your workflow and it's things that I use all the time and I think you might find them helpful too. So why not make a Quick Tip Tuesday out of it? Hey, today's Quick Tip Tuesday is sponsored by this guy, sponsored by me. So if you're looking for some EQ presets, maybe you need some practice files, I do have free ones as well as a whole bunch more paid ones, as well as a bunch of other freebie stuff that you can check out over on my Shopify, link in the description below. Check it out, help support the channel here. Really appreciate it if you do. All right, let's jump into Fairlight and check out these tips. All right, so check this out. I am in the Fairlight tab right here, so make sure you hit the musical notes, get in the fair light. You want to have your mixer open. So right at the top here, we've got our mixer. Now I did close my meters here just so I've got some more room on my screen here so you can see what's going on. But let's say I've got uh, some effects here, right? I got my multiband compressor and let's say I want to copy it onto another track or move it. I can just click on it, hold and drag it to move it to a new track. Or if I undo that with command or control Z, I can click on it using option or alt on a PC drag it over and it's going to copy it makes it super quick and easy to just kind of move effects around especially if you want the same or similar settings on a particular effect and you can do that with any effect that you want so you just grab it move it around you're good to go if you don't like it command or control z to undo that now in dynamics and eq we have talked a little bit in the past few videos about how you can turn them on and off real quick check it out all you have to do is just click on it and it turns it on and off now you don't have to open it up anymore and hit that little toggle on and off you don't got to do that just click on it and it's going to turn it on and off really helpful to help you hear before and after of your settings and just kind of see hey is it sounding good or, or uh, do i still need to work on it here now let's say maybe i want to copy and paste these you used to have to make a preset save the preset go into the the next EQ and apply that preset. You don't got to do that anymore. Now I can just come here, right click, copy, come here and paste. And you notice I turned it off there. I guess I just got to hover over top, right click, copy, right click, paste. It works out super easy to just copy your EQ across multiple tracks. You can do the same thing with your dynamics, right click, copy, right click, paste. Boom. There you go. Super quick and easy to just be able to copy and paste things here. You don't have to save presets. Quick, easy, love this new feature here in DaVinci Resolve 18. And you know what, you know what, while we're here, I, I got a little bonus for you. Check this out, just for your guys' information. Maybe this is gonna be helpful for you too. On my main bus one out, a lot of times I throw a limiter on there. Check this out, I set my limiter to about minus 1.6, so that when I check my overall loudness of my audio, I don't want it to peak above that. I wanna make sure I'm good, you know, I wanna, maybe I need to boost it up a little bit. A lot of times I'll just come in here, I'll throw on my limiter and I'll, I'll put it down around minus one or minus 1.6. And then I can always use my input here to boost it up a little bit. And in this case, in this video, I had it up at two. So that's gonna make sure I don't peak, but it's gonna bring my levels up loud enough when I check my loudness so that everything sounds good. It's got plenty of volume for you guys out there. So, hey, maybe that's something that's a little helpful here for you guys too. Throw a limiter on your main bus so you don't risk peaking at all. Even though if you set your tracks and all the rest of your audio good, you shouldn't be peaking anyway. But hey, things happen, right? You never know. Throw a limiter on there just to play it safe. All right, guys, that wraps up this Quick Tip Tuesday. Hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going for 100K by the end of the year, so I really need you guys to subscribe here. Going for that 100K, I mean, we've got a long way to go. Still got, what, a little more than half a year to go. But I uh, really need you guys' help on that. Really want to get there. And just keep bringing you guys awesome content. So with that said, guys, smash that sub button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.